so uh, in this video uh, i will complete the power supply sub circuit okay so we have um, we have assembled um, the storage capacitor that's the polar table capacitor now we will place the bypass capacitor right so for bypass capacitor uh, ceramic table capacitor are very popular and so now we will select the bypass capacitor okay again go to the capacitor so we will use again from the RCL library, the, the, actually this RCL library uh, will need most of the time we will use um, register and capacitor from RCL library. So uh, let's select the RCL uh, capacitor CU. Okay, so let's expand the CU portion. Um, okay, so in the CU portion you will see that uh, there are a lot of type of capacitor. So this is the small type of capacitor and you, you can see the dimension is uh, this capacitor very small. So and these are through all packages. But we are going to design SMD circuit, so we will select the um, component from the SMD segment, right? Okay, so now SMD, uh, SMD component started, right? Okay, so now we can see that uh, there are a lot of type of SMD component and the size is different from one from uh, each other. And this is uh, AUC 0201, 0402, 0402K and 0405, uh, 4, 06, so uh, we need to clear about our size because um, size is very important. So let's uh, find out the picture of the size, right? Okay, so you can see that um, this is the um, standard package size of the register capacitor. And from here you can see that um, the, there's a difference between the sizes, right? This is the 0603 uh, register capacitor, same size, right? So 0603 package is almost size in millimeter, 1.6 millimeter by uh, 0.8 millimeter, right? And 04 and uh, 02 is uh, 1 millimeter by 0 0.5 millimeter. So normally in our design, uh, 06 and 03 um, size capacitor and register are very popular. And so I think I will prefer this size, right? Okay, let's select and uh, 06 03 size capacitor, right? So we'll place one here and place another capacitor here, right? Okay, let's connect the capacitors. Okay, so basically our power su supply circuit is almost complete. Just I need to put two symbols. One is VCC symbol and another one is ground symbol. Because uh, in the next uh, next videos, I'm going to design the rest of the circuits. So in the rest of the circuits, I always need two symbols. One is the uh, logic power, that is VCC, and another one is the ground symbol, right? So if I connect all the circuits directly from here to rest of the components or rest of the design, so the circuit will just um, uh, lose its readability and so the uh, it, it will take a lot of time to read the circuits, right? So to make the circuits more readable, readable and user friendly, we will use symbols, right? So let's pick the VCC symbol from the add part. We will just search VCC star. So here you will see that uh, supply one and supply two. So two types of um, this is symbol from supply one and supply two. And here you can see that this is by two. So lot of, so you can see use any symbols there no restriction. But I will suggest you for uh, all the time use VCC uh, one from VCC uh, from supply one because I always prefer this symbol, right? Okay. So this is our logic output five voltage. So we will connect this symbol here. Let's connect here. Now I need the ground symbol, right? Oh, just symbol, just search as ground and star. So supply one, supply to ground. Okay, I will use ground from supply one. Nice. So I think our power supply sub circuit is almost complete. But uh, now I need to explain uh, two things and the difference between the storage capacitor and bypass capacitor. So you will see that storage capacitor are normally uh, polar or 10 dynamic type of capacitor and these capacitors are uh, normally the in, in the in the in the in the in the uh, accordance with this um, value this capacitor value are normally uh, more than 100 microfarad uh, to uh, more than 200 or 400 or 1000 microfarad. But in the case of bypass capacitor uh, the value ranges from 10 nano, uh, um, sorry, uh, 10 nanofarad to 100 nanofarad, right? So you can see that uh, bypass capacitors are um, much 
um, I, I will say the Bevel's capacitor value is much smaller or uh, smaller than the storage capacitor. So just consider the storage capacitor used as energy storage device, right? So why we need energy energy storage device? Although we have batteries with the circuits, okay. Let's explain this a little bit. Uh, just go with under. Okay. So this is the equivalent uh, circuit of a MOSFET. Uh, so we know that um, a microcontroller or a digital circuit board is a combination or billions of billions of MOSFET, right? So you can see that in the gate, and there are two capacitance. There are two capacitors actually, and this capacitor is capacitance. In output, there is also a capacitor. So, most, so we can consider MOSFET as a combination of capacitors, right? So we know that uh, when capacitor charge and discharge, um, so it take um, charge and discharge uh, quickly because um, capacitor has uh, less equivalent series resistance. So, so I need to explain equivalent series resistance. So let's go with. And this is the um, practical or real model of a capacitor. So in the capacitor, there's the series resistance um, that is prominent, um, okay? And in the battery, uh, um, so as if I show you the equivalent uh, circuit of a battery, and also battery has equivalent series resistance, but in the case of capacitor, capacitor equivalent series, re series resistance is less than battery equivalent series resistance, right? Okay, so we can now come to a conclusion. So think about that battery equivalent series resistance is greater than capacitor equivalent series resistance and digital circuits are combination of lot of capacitors or millions of capacitors. So those um, digital circuits or MOSFETs are uh, changing their states instantaneously and continuously. So that means um, for changing their states um, they need a lot of charge right and first charge for changing state. Uh, the, the UPU power supply provide um, the, uh, the power supply provide the charges as fast as possible your circuit will perform better right okay so think about that and uh, this is your power supply and you have connected a battery with uh, here and you have a storage capacitor here so whenever your um, digital circuit need a lot of instantaneous current this capacitor will provide that current instantaneously because capacitor has uh, less equivalent series resistance than your uh, um, battery so in that case this capacitor are uh, this capacitors will provide your circuit um, uh, first charge or instantaneous power that's why this capacitor is called storage capacitor okay fine uh, you understand the function of the storage capacitor now i need to explain the bypass capacitor right little bit okay so in your power supply and uh, this in the, this is the hour of your power supply so uh, whenever there is OR, the OR will pick noise from the AR, otherwise there is a lot of noise from the digital uh, or analog ICs. So, if, if your output power, BCC or rail power, output power supply or output logic voltage um, get noisy, so the your circuit will not going to perform better, right? So we need to uh, find out a OA or we need to find out a component that will pick all the noises from the um, rest of the environments or that will make our um, IC a noise free, right? So think about that. Uh, thus, uh, current is flowing from here to this uh, 705 IC, and there are a lot of noise here and here, 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 and this way. But this bypass capacitor value is less. Uh, think about uh, in the range of 10 and um, farad to 100 and a farad. The purpose of the bypass capacitor will pick all those noises so that um, all the noise will um, go through this here and ground it but and the UIC will get a less noise because of this bypass capacitor right so all the time you have to place bypass capacitor close to the IC any type of IC any type of digital or analog IC this will make your circuit perform better okay so this is the purpose of the bypass capacitor always bypass capacitor peak noises uh, and bypass capacitor that means bypass your noises to the ground right okay I think uh, that's all you need to understand uh, about the bypass capacitor and storage capacitor. Uh, if we have time, we will explain this capacitor later in an in detail way, right? Okay.